All right, it's your girl, Sandra D. B. Main Event. And welcome to my channel and to my community of love and unity. We will not be talking about hair and we will not be talking about food. We are on the journey of talking about the narcissist. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting on? And if you do love the content of these videos that I am creating, please share because sharing is caring. All right, so let's jump into the topic of the day. Today, we are talking about door slamming, okay? Now, door slamming communicates to the narcissist, okay, that you ain't having it, okay? Now, a door slam is just what it sounds like. You know, when you slam the door on somebody to let them know, to signify that they can't come in, that they can't talk to you, that they can't communicate with you, that you don't want to have nothing to do with them, you know, that's what a door slam is. You know, when somebody comes and try to sell you something and you don't want it, what do you do? You slam the door right in their face. And this is what a door slam is in regards to a narcissist. Okay. Now, it also does go with going no contact. Now, when you're going no contact, that means you are blocking them on everything. Your social media page. You blocking them on your phone. You blocking them during email. You are single-handedly letting the narcissist know to hit the road. You know, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. But now, what does this do when you do a no contact and they cannot get a hold of you? They going to hoover. They're going to Hoover. You know, they may even pop up, you know, at your house. But you're doing a door slam as another way of making the message clear that you do not want to have absolutely positively nothing. You hear me? Nothing to do with the narcissist. And you got to this point because the narcissist did not appreciate you as the wonderful and sweet and loving person that you are. And what they did was they took advantage of your kindness. And they were also trying to guilt trip you, you know, in the relationship as a way of trying to keep you down and keep you in bondage and keep you trapped into a relationship that you know wasn't working for you, and they knew it wasn't working for you as well. Now, the narcissist has the audacity to want to continue to try to pull you back into the relationship, knowing that they are not going to treat you as valuable, because you are valuable. And you were valuable from day one. And the narcissist knew that. But the narcissist wanted to try to gain as much supply as they could. While also being able to play the field. And they wanted you to be, you know, like Vanessa Bell and coming to America. Whatever you like. Okay. But that's not you. And they knew that that was not you. But they still want to run this manipulation in this game and give you that fake love bombing, future faking, you know, sucking up, trying to do everything they can to bring you back into abuse. And they didn't like it, but they want you to like it. Now, make that make sense. Okay, I say this a lot in my videos. This is why I got the t-shirt already created along, you know, with the hoodie. This is one of my sayings because if it don't make sense, it just does not add up. Okay. Now, who in their right mind is going to want to sign up for somebody to sit over here and abuse them? I'll wait. Nobody. Nobody wants to be mistreated. Hell, the narcissist don't even want to be mistreated. But yet and still, they'll sit over here and mistreat you as if you ain't got no rights. Now, again, where they do that at? 
you are not somebody's punching bag. And you are not. To sit here and accept for somebody to belittle you and treat you as you are trash. No, you're not trash. You're a treasure. You are not, okay, some something that they could just feel like they could just go ahead and just walk all over and want to sit over here and belittle you. And mistreat you like you did them some harm. Like you did them dirty. When all you was doing was being your sweet, loving, kind, nurturing, giving self. Now the narcissist, you know, when they're in relationships, what they do is they treat you as how they were treated growing up. So that's why you get the, you're being invalidated. Okay, because they don't want to validate you because they weren't. Okay, they are not your friend. And no, they do not love you. What they do do is put on this fake persona just to draw you into a relationship to take advantage of you so that they can abuse you. And when they finish abusing you or they finish um, playing with you like you some toy or some rag doll, then they want to sit over here and toss you to the side. And then they have the audacity to want to come back later on on 53rd Street as if you're supposed to open the door wide open and say, please punch me in my face. Oh, please mistreat me. Oh, please. Where they do that at? Now make that make sense. And the narcissist knows better. They don't even like being mistreated. So why the hell they think that you're going to sit over here and want to be mistreated? Now make that make sense. But then they want to come back and think that you're supposed to be sitting over here loving them and caring for them. And pouring your heart out to them and giving them all your good, good, good. While they sit over here giving you bad, bad, bad. Now, just because they decided to create themselves an alter ego and detach themselves from their emotions, that's their problem. But that's not how you roll. And they know that. But yet and still, they want to sit over here and mistreat you. And they ain't want to come back as if nothing happened. Now, make that make sense, y'all. Make that make sense. So when you decide to go no contact, okay, the narcissist already knows that the gig is up because to them that sends up a smoke signal. And that's why they come running back because they know they done messed up. And then that's why they come sitting over here giving you those future uh, fakes, the fake future. You know, in other words, y'all know that old school song, ain't no future in Ain't no future in your fronting, okay? All it is is a bunch of BS, some lies just to buy time, just to see if they can secure you and keep you trapped into a relationship that they know is destined to be doomed. They know it. But the reason why you want to add the, the door slam, okay, is because you are sending them a message of letting them know, game over, boo-boo. It's a wrap. The fat lady done sung. Elvis done left the building. That's all, folks. You know, exit stage left. All of that good stuff. You letting them know. You ain't playing checkers. You playing dominoes. (laughs) Domino, mother. Y'all know the movie. (laughs) Don't play. So, door slamming is just an added security that you want to add along with your no contact. Now, I know for some of you, this is going to be easy. But for some of you, it's not going to be so easy because you may have children. But what you can do is you can still you can still do certain things to try to make it more. What's the word I'm looking for? Pleasant, although it's never 
a pleasure dealing with a narcissist. It's just not. Let's just call a spade a spade. But you can gray rock. And that's just pretty much what it is. Gray rock. Like you don't say nothing. It's like you got a, you know, a deer in headlights. You just. Nothing. Just straight silence. Just straight look in that. I'm like. And then you tell them have a good day. And then you door slam. You don't have to allow them to sit in your home if you don't want to. And don't let them try to cross any boundaries. If you guys have a time where it's supposed, where the children is supposed to be home, they need to be home at that time. Unless the narcissist is going to call you and ask you if he can keep the kids for a little longer. Fine. Cause you don't want to be fighting no darn way. And that gives you a little added time to be able to prepare yourself, you know, for your babies to come home. Cause ain't no telling what they went through on the other side. They may have had a good time because the narcissist is sitting over there trying to turn the child against you. Or they had a terrible time because the narcissist is trying to pump information out of them, trying to figure out what you're doing, which ain't none of their business. So you want to make sure that when you are applying certain things, it does depend on your situation. But you still can apply some of these things Regardless of your situation, you just may have to adjust certain things. All right. Now, that's how you do a door slam. Okay. Because you was like, mm -mm. you can't come here. Mm -mm. You can't come in. Mm -mm. You like return to sender. And I ain't trying to be rude or disrespectful to no Jehovah Witnesses on here. But you know when they come knocking on your door and you didn't know it was them. And you see them and then the first thing they start talking, hi, what you do? You close the door. If it's a salesman, what you going to do? And you not expecting them and you ain't got time for that. Door slam. Why? Because you ain't buying what somebody is selling. And you ain't buying what the narcissist is selling. And when you do your door slam, okay, it's like fork knocks. It's like clink, clink. And I will see you guys in the next video.